The Ticket Machine is the official ticket broker of Spartan Nation. No matter what you need a ticket for, border to border, coast to coast, the Ticket Machine is your ticket source. So whether you need to get into the hottest concerts, the best sporting events, you want the best seats in the house, or you just want to get in the door, when you want to go to any event that requires a ticket, anywhere, border to border, coast to coast, it's always theticketmachine.com. Theticketmachine.com, 517-655-3201. Check it out today at theticketmachine.com. The depth chart, obviously, said Josh was starting at one point yesterday. Yesterday said that, and uh -huh. then uh, Mark said that. That's still kind of in flux between him and Josiah. How can you, can you kind of break down that battle uh, heading into the weekend? Uh, it's, a, it's a great battle. Um, um, Josiah had an outstanding spring. Um, and, and, and then got a little nicked up a little bit in, the, in his fall camp, and, and Josh had an outstanding fall camp. He did a great job for us. And so uh, that's a good problem to have. We, got, we have some guys, and we're happy that, uh, obviously, that Justin Lane is with us and, and Tyson Smith. So uh, I expect all those guys to play, especially with a fast-paced offense. And while Scott was out, um, T.J. Harrell got more reps with the twos, I would imagine. If not, you can correct me on that, but how did that look? How's he coming T.J. Along? did good. He did a good job for us. You know, T.J. Is, is, is a bigger guy that can run. Um, and so he did a good job as well for us. So uh, five solid corners that we have right now that we feel good about uh, putting into a game. Harlan, with playing a team that does the Texas Tech Mike Leach offense, obviously modified a little bit, with such a young secondary, how concerning is that? Well, uh, <clears throat> the offseason, the way it was as far as being able to meet with the guys and get with them more, meet with them more, I feel very comfortable with how we are and where we are right now uh, with our players. We have the young people, the young guys come in, the freshmen come in early for a week in June, uh, as well as when they came back in the first part of July. So they're up on it. They know what's going on. They understand. And so uh, I, feel, I feel good with it. I really do. I really do. There's a lot of talk in camp about rotating guys at a lot of different positions. Is that helpful when you're going up against a team in the opener that is going to go fast pace and run play after play? Absolutely, it's helpful. Um, rotating meaning that you know if it's a safety, you're safety. If you're corner, you're corner. Right, but I just mean uh, rotating a bunch of guys in. And right, players. right. I understand. Yeah, they they've all worked together and understand one another. So there is some uh, cohesiveness there amongst all of those guys because we we done multiple groups in there working with one another. And so uh, they feel good. They understand. And uh, we'll see the results on Saturday. You, uh, you talk a little bit about the corner. Can you talk about the safeties, what uh, Matt has done to kind of maybe surpass Grayson a little bit there? And also Trey Person moving over. What, what do you see? Okay. There? Um, Matt, Matt is very, very smart. Uh, football player. Um, as a young man that, you, that understands the defense probably as well as anyone, especially in the back end. So um, he's going to put himself in position to be able to make plays and get other guys in position to make plays as well. As far as Trey is concerned, Trey is a, is a, is a smart young football player as well. He understands um, and he's getting it more and more. You know, we do a lot of things and he's getting it down, man. So he, he communicates, he loves to play the game and he goes after and gets people. When did uh, when did he make the switch from corner? Or is he still repping at corner at all? Uh, pretty much uh, safety right now. He made the switch maybe after the first week or so. Um, but uh, we had to, actually. It's funny you say that because he did a little corner for us yesterday as well. So um, he still knows that. Again, he's a smart football player, so he understands uh, both positions and uh, and is going to serve him well in, in the future. You, Mike, and Mark were very open last year that just didn't get enough pressure, didn't get enough sacks. Mm -hmm. With this defensive line that you have, are you confident you are going to be able to give that fixed, or is it still a concern? Uh, I think we're going to we're going to surprise some people. We're going to surprise some people. I'm going to just keep it at that, Hondo. But I uh, uh, feel good about not only uh, the personnel, but some of the things that we've changed uh, schematically um, throughout the course of the off season. So looking forward to it. Does some of that come from? Do you feel like you guys got predictable at all last year on either side of the ball or both sides? Well, like I, I told our D staff um, in the offseason, I actually even before last season, people study the champs. They study the champs. We were the champs. We've been down, you know, had a pretty good run here in the, in the Big Ten. And so they study you. Everybody's calling, what, how do you attack Michigan State? Do this, that, and other. And there were certain things that I thought we became a little predictable on, on and uh, over the years. And so now we got to, you know, be able to change with the times and roll with the times. And we will. We will. We got some things that, you know, it, I think we're going to get good results out of as the season progresses. It's been more about it's been more about that than personnel, or is it kind of a mix of both? If you don't have the right guys, and it's always it was always going to be a mixture of it. But um, um, 
you know, we, we have good players around here, and we, and we still have good players around here. So uh, I think it's a mixture of that and them understanding young players and all that kind of stuff and understanding the, uh, the, the, the scheme. But uh, I think it's going to be good. I think it's a good mixture. we got good players. we got a good scheme. And uh, hopefully you'll see some great results out there this year. Is it difficult to tweak without changing your identity and the, the basics that you guys try to go through? Um, we're not tweaking so much that we don't know who we are and still, you know, we, we still going to fly around and be tough, fast, physical, and aggressive and do those type of things. And it's not so dramatic that the guys like, whoa, what is this new stuff? No, it's not like that. But it is to the point where it's going to change up a few things where uh, offense is going to have to second think about or second guess what they're going to do against Michigan State. Not that it's unprecedented from a guy to go from a walk-on to a scholarship player or a contributor, but you know, you look, you've got two former walk-ons starting at defensive end. Did you ever, I mean, that, that, that seems like a little unusual for a major college program. No like doubt about it. you guys are in. So what have they done to get to that point, and what is that, is that a negative thing regarding your depth? They've played fast, physical, and aggressive, and, uh, and, and, and relentless. And, and they put themselves in those positions to, to be the guys to start. Um, and don't, don't forget, we still got some pretty good backups as well, and everybody will play, but those guys earned it. They earned it. Um, not that, not that these, those guys are this guy, but at one time, J.J. Watt was a walk-on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that, so don't print that. I'm not going <laughs> to say that. But uh, I'm just saying he was a walk-on that, that earned it and, and, and did a good job. So, you know, and we've had many around here as well that have done a great job for us. So we expect those two guys to play well for us. When you look at uh, Dom Long, I mean, you think he can crack the field right away at safety, or do you kind of want to get him a little more? In, in we're going to we're going to get him more seasoned first, but he, he's right there now. He's athletic. He can run. He's tough. He's physical, aggressive. So uh, it's just a matter of learning the, learning the system and getting it down. Um, and and he's coming. He's coming. He's, he's an intelligent young man also, and, and and really cares about his performance and trying to get better each and every day. So he'll he'll play for us at some point in time. I don't know if it'll be this year. Or, or how uh, later this year or next year, whenever it may be, but he's going to be a player for us. Certainly you can't predict the season, but going into Saturday's game, how many true freshmen do you think will play on defense, Harlan? I'm not going to ask you for this. On defense, on defense alone, uh, I'm, I'm going to say probably three or four guys, maybe something like that, just off the top of my head. Yeah, and um, they've proven themselves to be able to get out there on the field and play for us too. Uh, I don't know about necessarily, I shouldn't say defense, but special teams and all those type of things. But uh, we got some, it's a good class. It's a really good class. When you look at kind of the expectations and overview, I mean, last year you're coming off the college playoff, um, changed a little bit. Even the year before, the expectation was the college playoff. Has anything changed this year compared to that, or is it more like the, maybe the first couple of years you guys were here? Well, we always have a high expectations of ourselves uh, within within this building. So. Uh, we always believe that we can win every game that we play in, and we're always going to have that mentality. That has never changed from day one. And so we've got that same mentality. We're going to take it one game at a time, like we always talked about. And first up is Bowling Green. So our mentality has not changed as far as our expectations of going out, playing each and every game, believing that we can win. Did last year maybe, maybe I don't know, reset that? But the, the fact that you, you, you can't go – you, you saw what happens if you try and think too far ahead. Exactly right. That's what I said. It's one game at a time. Uh, BG is up first. That's what we've been focusing on. And uh, and I don't know if that happened last year or not. Um, something I did say, so maybe it'll help you guys out too when you're asking questions. You can test our guys after Saturday. I said, after Saturday, we don't think past September 2nd. That's it. You, you, somebody said something about last year. I only go back to September 2nd. I forgot everything else after September 2nd. Did Kyrie Willis make a little bit of a surge? If I'm not mistaken, he might have began camp with the twos. If I'm not, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. And, and now he's with the ones. Did he, I heard he did well in the second scrimmage. Did he? Make he a he's always been a guy that's right there. So you, when you say ones and twos, you know, he's, he was always right there. Uh, didn't get a chance to go through a lot of the spring. So that's why he probably started the way he did this fall camp. But uh, Kyrie's a player. He's really taken off. And uh, – we're expecting uh, big things from him. Do you have a set fifth DB nickel, or does it depend on personnel groups in terms of the next guy in, or, or tempo? Who's fresh? Is there? Is there is we there... have a set uh, nickel right now. Yeah, yeah. He'll 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 be the nickel kick down to a nickel. So Josiah Scott can play some nickel for us as well, and then we'll bring in a, a, a safety and or a corner, depending on which one of those guys is 
playing nickel. So kicking down, you can move inside and kind of play that old star type of thing. Yes. Not for a true freshman, I imagine the spring enabled him, enables him to do that now. Otherwise, that wouldn't have been available to him. Exactly right. Exactly right. Well, and I, and I shouldn't say that because um, Isaiah Lewis, he came in and was the nickel, we called him star back then, from day one. I mean, from he, he was our starting nickel for his whole four years here. So I, you can't say and he didn't come in early. So it's just a matter of guys being able to learn it, pick it up, and understand it. Have you watched Riley on Hard Knocks, and have you heard him channeling your play violent? <laughs> Mantra. I heard him a little bit. I haven't watched it all. I mean, you know, we're going through our camp ourselves, but that's exciting. I mean, Riley brings energy and passion, enthusiasm, and uh, and, and you miss that a little bit. I, I know that. And some Harlan with your play uh, violent. <laughs> absolutely, he, he's a, he's a he's a outstanding football player, and wishing nothing but the best down there in Tampa, man. But uh, really happy for him. What does Josiah Scott do well for people that haven't seen him play yet, like all of us, I guess? He's, 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 he's fast, he plays with great technique, he has good ball skills, and he can tackle. He's, he's, and he's very unassuming. You wouldn't think that just looking at him, but, you know, he has that other guy in him. He definitely comes out on game day. He comes to compete. He's a competitor. Bowling Green scored in the high 40s in their second to last game against Kent State, I think, last year. What do they do on offense that will be a challenge? Uh, what, what do they Well. One thing, they bring back uh, the quarterback and, and a couple of receivers that were, were uh, very good for them last year, and, and a running back they have coming back as well. Um, but they spread the ball around. They go fast-paced. Whenever you're going against a fast-paced offense that's well-oiled and they understand uh, where, where the weaknesses are in defenses and things like that, that that's a challenge in itself. So um, our guys are prepared. We'll be ready to go. Um, been prepared for these guys for a long time now. Uh, but that's what they bring to the table as far as a challenge, going fast and understanding where to go with the ball in fast-paced situations. All right, guys. We got Thanks. Thanks.